guys, it's me, your boy, Polly. We're back with another video. There was breaking news. I didn't talk about yesterday. Sorry. Um, I was celebrating a birthday, so I didn't want to be uploading. But today, you're getting it. Rizel Iglesias, who is a pitcher, a relief pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds, is now getting traded to the Los Angeles Angels. The Angels need bullpen. Not bullpen. They need all-around pitching help. If they sign Trevor Bauer, if they sign Trevor Bauer, they now have Rezo Iglesias, and they get one more relief pitcher that's on like the market, they are going to be stacked. <laughs> but, and this trade was... It was, I think that the Angels won this trade, and the Reds lost this trade. The Reds received no, no, no way, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, sorry if I'm butchering it, butchering it, but his name is like Noe Ramirez or something, sorry if I'm butchering it, but that's who they got. So, like, Rizal Iglesias for the Ramirez guy. Rizel's up here, and the, the guy's down here. So the Reds just gave up a good bullpen piece for basically like a double-A player. They're probably going to have him on the squad, but I don't know what good he's going to do. But, hey, whatever. May, maybe somehow he has a breakout season. God knows what's going to happen. Then we have a second trade that happened last night. So this would be the day that I would be recording that video. But I didn't get to talk about the Rise Out Glacius trade, so that's also going to be in this video. But the Texas Rangers are trading Lance Lynn to the Chicago White Sox for Dane Dunning. Okay. I th you, got, you guys might sound, you might, guys might think I'm crazy, but I think it's a win-win for both teams. The Rangers are one giving up a pitcher, okay, but they're getting a pitcher back, so it's the same thing. But the White Sox are okay. Both teams are winning, but I think the White Sox are on the higher part of winning because the White Sox are getting a number two starter because they have Giolito. So now you're getting Lance Lynn. I don't know if you're gonna put Lance Lynn as the ace and have Giolito too. That's personally what I would do, but if but he's either one or two. Most likely he's gonna be two. But in my opinion I would put him one because I think he has more experience than Giolito. He's a better pitcher than Giolito and I think he should just be that ace guy. But the Texas Rangers are getting Dane Dunning. In 2020, with the um, White Sox, he showed promise. But, hey, I mean, that wasn't like seven or eight starts. That's a lot for 2020. But in regular season, small sample size. So, but I think the Rangers, I think that getting those small pieces is going to help them. Because they were in like a rebuilding phase, but not. Like, they were supposed to be a sneaky team. And then sucked. So, I don't know what's going to happen. But, the only thing I know is, he's going to be in that rotation. Um, Dane Dunning for the White Sox. He's a good enough pitcher that he should be in that rotation. And if he isn't, I don't know what that manager or GM of the Rangers is doing. But whatever he's doing, he better have Dane Dunning in that rotation. But the White Sox... They are going to be crazy. I already made like some prediction for the World Series before anything happened. I said it was going to be um, Mets versus, uh, what? no, not Mets. God, I said it was going to be Dodgers versus, um, I said Dodgers versus, I forgot what team I said. It was like Dodgers versus... I th no, I think I said the Dodgers versus the White Sox. Now I think the White Sox are going to have even more of a chance 
if that is the World Series, they're going to have more of a chance to win it. So, and I want to see the White Sox win it. Because they played in the postseason this year. The A's beat them up. Not really, but they got knocked out by the A's. So, I want the Rays. I want the Rays to play the White Sox. Because I want to see if that new White Sox team in 2021 can beat the Rays team for 2021. So, yeah, I just want to see if that matchup. Yeah, but now let's go. The, the, the um, Lance Lynn thing is done. We got that done. Now let's move on to yesterday's news that I talked a little bit about. The Reds are also in a rebuilding phase. I'm not sure last year in the 2019-2020 offseason, they were like, oh, we're going to get this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and hope we're amazing. In 2020, I mean, they were. I wouldn't call them amazing, but they were good. So, I mean, hey, I anything could happen with, with what they're doing because they could somehow trade Moustakis. They could trade Sonny Gray. They could trade Joey Votto, Mike Moustakis, Eugenio Suarez. You can trade all of those guys and get a bunch of little pieces to come in and, and train those guys to become what some of those other players were at, and then you get a good team. Or you get an average team to start, and then every year, every year, every year, they get up and up and up until they possibly win a World Series. But... They're losing their best relief pitcher. And for the Angels, this is like the best thing that's happened to them besides getting Mike Trout and like the or besides getting Ren Rendon last year. I mean they need like I think it's even better than Rendon. They need pitching like crazy. So, I mean, if they sign Bauer, Bauer and Rizel, they are going to be amazing. And they might make it to the playoffs. Which still, you got to get some lineup pieces too. But because Mike Trout, Jared Walsh, and Anthony Rendon can't be the only people doing stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's going to end end the video. I just wanted to talk about that news since I didn't talk about the Lancelin thing yesterday. Peace.